I'm not gonna get that right for this entire video. Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and today I am participating in a Muffin in a Mug collaboration. So just a few quick things about this collaboration. Number one, it is a collaboration. <laughs> Number two, I'm doing this with four other Trim Healthy Mama followers like myself, and they are Claire over at Cookie Crumb Fun, Nikki over at Nikki Schumacher, Marissa at Marissa's Kitchen, and Carrie over at My Table of Three. All four of these ladies are fantastic, and I think you should go check out their channels that I have linked down in the description. And I think you should consider subscribing to them because they've got great content, in my opinion, and I really enjoy them. So there's also going to be a playlist down in my description that you can um, click on and just watch all five of our videos without having to do a thing. It's a really great way to get lots of good ideas for muffin in a mug recipes. So I feel like muffin in a mug recipes can be kind of polarizing in the Trim Healthy Mama um, community, world, I don't know. I think there is a camp that strongly loves muffins in mugs. And then I think there's a camp over here that doesn't really care one way or the other and they're just not their thing so they just kind of avoid them altogether. What I personally have found for myself to be true is that muffin in a mug recipes are extremely helpful to me. I have the extremist personality which I shared in my Wellness Wednesday week two. I will link that somewhere up here in the iCards. And I cannot control myself in a stressful situation whenever I'm lacking time or whenever I'm tired. So if I make an entire cake, I will eat an entire cake in very short order. Also, I really love to test out different flavors and I'm not always in the mood to have the chocolate trimtastic cake. Some days I would like something a little more fruity and other days I would like something kind of peanut buttery and you know, it's just, I really appreciate tons of different flavors and having muffin in a mug, muffins in a mug <laughs> really helps me to not get bored with one particular treat or overindulge in one particular treat during the week. I also feel like muffin in mugs, muffins in mugs, I'm not going to get that right for this entire video. <laughs> I feel like muffins and mugs are a super quick way for me to grab a or to make a warm snack or breakfast or treat and be able to get out the door with my girls if we have someplace we have to be in the mornings um, or if I am in that hangry place and I just really want something baked, and if I've baked bread for the girls, and I'm thinking, oh, I should just have a piece of bread with butter, I can quickly whip up a muffin in a mug and satisfy that need for that bready texture without um, without falling, not falling off plan, but without making a choice that's less beneficial to myself. Those are just a couple of reasons why I use muffins in mugs during my, tr my Trim Healthy Mama um, way of eating, and let's get started on a few recipes that I've created. So I wanna start out with making a master muffin in a mug mix that I can just kind of pull from whenever I want. That will be a fuel pull, and I can um, either add fruit to it to make it an E, or I can add heavier fats to make it an S. I've got some baking powder. I don't know if my lighting is gonna work well with this. I've got some baking blend. I've got some sweetener, and this is erythritol, this is stevia, and salt. So now that I've got this master mix ready, I've got about two cups worth here, give or take. And my objective here is to make a smaller muffin in a mug as kind of like a part of a meal or a part of a dessert because I find that so many muffin in a mug recipes are too much, honestly. And I feel like my recipe that I did with my salted caramel 
muffin in a mug or a salted caramel mug cake recipe that I will link in the iCards. It was double what I really wanted, so it was kind of too filling. So I think I'm going to go through and we're gonna take this master recipe and make some muffin in a mugs. To start with, I've got three of these one cup bowls from Pioneer Woman. I'm gonna make three different types of muffin in a mugs. I'm gonna start out with an E muffin in a mug. Let's do one tablespoon of Greek yogurt. Let's do two tablespoons of liquid egg whites. drops of vanilla extract, one quarter cup of my master muffin in a mug mix, um, let's add in a tablespoon of almond milk, I've got some frozen peaches here, I'm just going to take a small handful. That looks like about a quarter to a third of a cup of chopped up peaches. So here is my E muffin in a mug. This is going to be peach and I'm going to go microwave this for one and a half minutes. So now I'm going to make a fuel pull version of a muffin in a mug and this one I think I'm feeling the orange almond kind of flavoring so let's do that. For this one, I'm gonna use one teaspoon of butter. I'm gonna go melt this in the microwave. Here's my melted butter. A few drops of almond extract. This is some orange extract, so just a couple of drops, really. Whoa, that might have been too much. Let's do two tablespoons of the liquid egg whites. One quarter cup of my muffin and a muff mug master blend. Okay, so we've got orange almond here for a fuel pole, and I added about almost two tablespoons of water to make sure that it wasn't too terribly thick. Now I will microwave this for one minute, 30 seconds. All right, for my S muffin in a mug recipe, I am going to make an eggnog muffin in a mug. I love eggnog. If you have not seen my Christmas tag video, Christmas favorite things tag video, whatever it is, I'm gonna link it up here in the iCards. Go check it out. I love eggnog. So this one is gonna require a lot more time um, on the front end. So last night I made a dairy-free, sugar-free version of eggnog out of almond milk and some eggs and some sweetener and such. So I've got that here and I just reuse my almond milk carton because it works. So I'm gonna use this for my liquid in this recipe so that it gets a nice eggnoggy flavor and let's see how this one turns out. All right, since we are in an S sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and use probably half a tablespoon of butter and I'm gonna go melt this down in the microwave. And I'm not trying to go overboard on my fat here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use liquid egg whites. Not only am I not trying to go overboard on my fats, but this is just easier for me in this process. Let's do two tablespoons of the liquid egg whites. Back to my one quarter cup of my Muffin in a Mug Master. And let's start with two tablespoons of my eggnog. That is that homemade, dairy-free, sugar-free. That looks about perfect. Now I'm gonna microwave this one for a minute and 30 seconds. So here I have all three of my muffin and a mug recipes. 
I've got my peach muffin in a mug, which is an E, my orange almond muffin in a mug, which is a fuel pull, and my eggnog muffin in a mug, which is an S. I'm gonna give each of these a little taste test. One thing to note, with um, the F, or for the fuel pull and for my E muffin in a mugs, they weren't quite so pretty. And I think part of it is because there was less fat, obviously, and it sort of stuck to my bowl a little bit more whenever I was using the microwave. All right, for the sake of testing in this kitchen, I'm going to be crossing over right now. So I'm gonna start with my E peach muffin in a mug. And I consider this probably a lighter E because I did use such a small amount of the frozen peaches, but it's an E nonetheless. Make sure to get a piece of peach. That's the whole point behind a peach muffin is the peach. It's very light. It's, um, it's pretty tasty actually. Um, I do think the peach flavor is a little underwhelming. But when you get a bite of peach, that's really good. I think one thing I would do to zhuzh this up is add a little bit of cinnamon. A minute and a half seems to be perfect for this particular recipe. It's not um, overly dry or overly wet. And clearly I'm having more than one bite. Mm. So, with a few minor little tweaks, the peach is a winner. Okay, orange almond fuel pull muffin in a mug. I should probably cleanse my palate between these, but it's not that serious. Mmm. The orange is more subtle than I expected. The almond is spot on. So next time for this one, a little more orange extract. Mm -hmm. And the thing of it is, this E peach muffin in a mug, it looks like it's a solid cup's worth, and it probably is. But my fuel pull is a little bit like maybe two thirds of a cup worth. So I feel like this is an appropriate size for a muffin in a mug where it can be a true snack without feeling like you have gorged yourself. Last but not least, here is my eggnog muffin in a mug, which is an S. I love eggnog. Mm -hmm. It's a very subtle eggnoggy flavor, um, which I prefer a very bold eggnog flavor, so if I were to make this one again, I would probably go ahead and add in a little bit more, um, just add in vanilla extract, which I didn't do, and maybe the um, the rum extract to make it taste more eggnoggy. In the recipe that I followed for the dairy-free, sugar-free eggnog, which I will try to link in the description box, I um, that recipe has vanilla and rum extracts in it, um, so I assumed that would be sufficient, but I do think that making this one again, I will add just a splash of vanilla extract and just a splash of that rum extract to make sure that it's a little bit more of a bold flavor for myself. But I'm not mad about it, that's for sure. It's good. So aside from those few little notes, I think this muffin in a mug master recipe is gonna be really handy to me. Thank you so much for watching and coming on this little adventure through muffin in a mug land with me. Um, I really have a lot of fun making muffin in a mugs. And uh, if you're interested in other THM videos, other THM collaborations with the other ladies that I'm doing this with, or just general me videos. That sounds so ridiculous. I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.